Hello everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm called out to a air handler that is leaking condensation. It's in the ceiling, so I'm in an attic right now. And they say, the customer told me that it's been doing it for a while, does it every year around monsoon season. And they try clearing it out, and they even tried it making the condensation line making it uh, an inch instead of three quarter which is the norm and there's still it's still not working well it's simple it's pretty simple guys so <laughs> the reason the water's not leaving is because this here I just cut it already to to um, you know to be able to uh, uh, get some of that water out so this is what it normally looks like right so look at the secondary drain pan right it's it's gets some water but you know it doesn't have any water right now well that is because for one this breather tube which this air handler doesn't need but it's okay if it does um, this breather tube is actually and it's an overflow breather tube is actually lower than the primary that means that when this thing backs up instead of it backing up into this air handler and this pan inside of here and overflowing this secondary so the secondary and falling into the pan it just because it's lower than all of this it just falls on on this area so that is one problem secondary second problem uh, which is an even bigger problem is the fact that where this this has no pitch you can't see it very well here but it does not have enough pitch and where that water exits the side of the building and comes down, it's actually slightly higher than here. So that means the water is going, exiting, and then it has to flow upward to escape and fall out of the house. And it's just not doing that. Water, you know, water cannot defy laws of gravity and just start moving upward. Just gravity doesn't do that, it does not allow water to do that. Anyways, so the way we fix this is pretty simple. We're just going to raise this up, raise this up higher above the secondary so that if one day it does, you know, back up, it will come out of here and fall into the pan, which is what we want so that it can trip this safety switch. And we want that because that'll shut the AC off. Um, which is the right way to do it but uh, that's that's something to keep in mind guys okay and again this air handler doesn't even require a uh, this air handler doesn't even require a trap because it's a positive pressure air handler but it's okay you know if it has one it does not affect it as much it's not going to necessarily affect it in a you know huge negative way or anything and um, it's probably okay that it has it because I myself personally have seen um, inspectors turn down the air handler or flag that because they say oh every air handler has to have a trap you can't it, air handlers always have a trap why doesn't this one have a trap and blah 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 you know they flag it and they just don't understand they're not technicians they obviously don't read the manual that comes with the air handler you can see there that breather and overflow tube is actually lower that's why it just drips into that little pool there it's not supposed to do that but yeah so it's okay I'm gonna just put another trap in there I'm still gonna keep a trap but it's just gonna be much higher so that it has that pitch and that overflow tube and breather tube is gonna stick out you know higher a few inches higher than 
my primary and secondary outlets of the air handling which that will be then draining perfectly and this customer is gonna be super happy and he's gonna be our customer for life now all right well thank you for watching let me know what you think like and subscribe it helps out a lot bye